you just get profiled, you get stopped, and then they just have in some trouble for you. They might say you've stolen something or you're a Yahoo boy. Yahoo boy where I come from means 419. <laughs> no, 419 where I come from to break it down means that you are into some kind of fraudulent activity. everyone you're welcome to my channel it's mrs o aka Opsy baby so on this channel i do locks because i've got locks lifestyle family i rant <laughs> and i also tell stories about um you know my i tell my migrant stories my family migrant stories because we are immigrants in the united kingdom originally from nigeria so if you like this kind of content please Click that subscribe button for me, like, share, and just, you know, leave comments for me. I like to read your comments. So, today I had to really push myself to do this makeup because my heart is very heavy, um, you know, and a lot of things are not right. And I just wanted to, you know, use my medium, even though I know not a lot of people watch, but if I say only one person is going to watch and I don't talk, you know what's going to happen? The change is being restricted so I'm lending my voice to you know this change that is being requested that is being asked for in my country Nigeria is there's been something going on it's been the end SARS protest it was a night I actually could not sleep because you know I was so troubled I had to wake up and you know leave a comment or more than a comment you know just pour out my mind on instagram and on my facebook so if you're not following me my instagram is locks and chronicles i'll leave it on the screen uh please follow me on instagram and i was just you know saying it as it is in my mind and there's been protests for many years on ending SARS in nigeria and it's just not ended, it's just gone on and on and on and you know, people are dying, a lot has been happening and the government has just completely ignored the voices of the people and when they're not ignoring it and they're behaving like they're actually doing something, it's all been, you know, it's all been fake, can I just say? Nothing really, there's been no positive, no effective change there's been really nothing happening to stop this so what's been happening is, the youths, when you go out, it's it's a constant worry because you don't know if you're gonna get kidnapped it's worse for you if you don't if you are flamboyant if you have locks or you have anything to identify you like you might be in the that you might be a bad child do you know what i'm saying like nice ride or maybe you just have colored hair yeah. or maybe you have money or maybe you're just Whatever it is, it doesn't even matter. You might even be poor and walking on the street because I have a lot of stories like that. You just get profiled, you get stopped, and then they just have in some trouble for you. They might say you've stolen something or you're a Yahoo boy. Yahoo boy where I come from means 419. <laughs> no, 419 where I come from to break it down means that you are into some kind of fraudulent activity. So they profile you, they just arrange all this trouble for you, saying you've stolen something or you have disturbed the peace of the society or you've, you know, you've done something wrong and then they, they get you arrested if you're lucky, you just get arrested and put in the cell so that your people, if they have money, will come and bail you out if you're not lucky or if you dare say you're right if you dare say you're right, if you, if you dare argue or if you, if you just make any pimp sound to protest or to, you know, contest whatever they're saying against you you get really beaten, you get killed, that might be the end of your life, they can even shoot you. They do this sporadically and they do this indiscriminately, they have no, they have nothing to curb them, they have nothing to stop them. They do this and then that's it, that's, that's the end, that's your life gone, wasted. And this is really sad, I'm a parent myself, I have two children, I take them to Nigeria. And apart from the fact that I'm even a parent, I'm someone's daughter, I'm someone's sister. Let me tell you a story. Last year, I got a message on my phone from my mom, from my parents saying that my brother had been badly beaten and left on the road, you know, in a state of coma. He could have died. He could have died. The only thing, the only saving grace that we had was this happened very close to where my parents live. Because it's gone, the story, I don't, today is not the day for the story, but I will, I will tell you the story. Just, just be sure to follow my channel, because 
you know, when something when something is happening, I don't know how to keep quiet. So I'm thinking, if this happened to my brother and it have, you know, it affected my family, I felt so much. What about the people that were actually killed, that did nothing? Their blood is crying. Let us go into the Bible. You remember the story where these two women in the Bible went to Moses and they claimed their father's land. They claimed it because before then, you know, women were not entitled to inheritance. They actually spoke out. And that was when that decree changed. And women could actually have their father's inheritance. So that is something that if you speak out, if you protest, you can actually achieve. But let us also look at the story in the Bible where this naughty king, okay, what's his name? Uh, Vashti's husband. The one that asked for her head to be for somebody to be beheaded. Huh. The Queen Esther's husband. Herod. No, Herod, my foot. So something happened. My my camera cut off and I wasn't actually recording. <laughs> so I have to do this again just to finish this video. So I was talking about King Sexes. I'm not sure I'm saying it right, but I'll leave the name on the screen. You know, in the Bible where Esther actually went to speak up on behalf of the Jews and Mordecai, her uncle, sent a message to all the Jews to pray and, you know, to wait upon the Lord um, concerning Queen Esther going to speak, you know, for them. It's a story in the Bible. <laughs> I don't want to go into the details, but you can read the book of Esther in the Bible. I invite you to read it. It's a powerful book. And, you know, look at the series of events and the whole nation could have been wiped off if someone had not taken the courage to speak up and people weren't praying you know so it's very important that we speak up it's also very important that we pray so don't lose the hope i've heard a lot of people saying oh we've been praying for nigeria nothing has happened this is the time for the change be a part of it don't sit on it be a part of it speak up use whatever platform you have even if you have just one follower Use your platform to speak up against all forms of power brutality and also pray. Pray in whatever way you know how to and there is going to be a change. And if you would, please say a mini prayer with me. Lord, we pray for the families of those affected by any form of power brutality, that you would bring peace into their lives, that you would console and comfort them, that the reasons why they died will not be forgotten that the reasons why they died will not be in vain, that their blood, instead of speaking judgment, will speak mercy upon Nigeria, and that their blood, Lord Jesus, will speak mercy and grace, will speak salvation and change in Nigeria. We pray for all the ruthless people in power that are being brutal to the people, that they will be removed. And as they are being removed, Father, we replace them with people after your own heart. That will bring peace, that will bring salvation, that will bring joy again into Nigeria. That the people will be able to walk freely. And we also pray that this ends such protest and this ends what protest and this end power brutality protest. Lord Jesus will no longer claim life. That you will speak sense into the brains of our leaders so that they would know not to use force or violence against us. So that they will listen to us and they will grant us our requests. So that peace will reign in Nigeria. Lord, we speak peace. We speak grace. We speak love. We speak salvation. We speak courage. We speak strength upon Nigeria. And we decree that it shall be well. In Jesus' name. Thank you for staying with me. <laughs> Today I had to dedicate this video to the you know, families and to those people who have experienced any form of power brutality and just to lend a voice to speak concerning this answers and sword and police and power brutality in my country nigeria so thank you for staying tuned and watching this video until i come your way again just stay safe keep on praying and keep your spirits high thanks i love you bye